did something to you, baby. Can't blame you. Real pain of mistake, my car crazy. Just feel me. My heart run pure like a baby. I can't help. My heart still yearn for you. Wanna be the one to make you laugh. Wanna be the one to make you smile. Don't wanna make you cry. You don't wanna make me soft inside. Make me open up to the world. Tell them what's inside. Really gotta take it by myself. We slide, we tie the universe glide. What good, YouTube? It's your boy Brusky with the Wits, and we finally back with another goddamn video, man. Hey, bro, I know I've been going for the longest, bro. Life just been, you feel me? Sometimes a nigga gotta handle shit in life, man. All right, I'm gonna just leave it at that, bro. Glenn, I still got you, bro. I had to text you again on uh, on YouTube and shit. I responded back to your uh, comment and shit, bro. I'm sending out your package, bro. Later on this week and shit, man, I had to get a new car and all that. I ain't really finna get into detail of my life story because this is not what y'all here for, okay? I just recently uh picked up a baby Desert Eagle for my new purchase. You feel me? For my new gun. So I'm going to make a review on that today for you guys, man. You feel me? Let y'all see how everything come with that. My bad for the light and my bad for all that stuff. And sorry that I've been gone for so long, man. I left my goddamn factory magazine at the house because I usually walk around with my extenders on and shit. I don't really... I use my factory mag whenever I gotta keep it real compact, you feel me? But other than that, I usually keep my extensions on me. You got a lighter? But yeah, man, uh, other than that, man, we're gonna get into the video. I'm gonna go ahead and do a review of this video. I'm not gonna tell y'all what type of magazines I got to this Baby Desert Eagle because I'm also gonna do a review on the mags itself because I had to find some magazines that's compatible with that. So I'm not gonna let y'all know. That's gonna be a separate video, man. Y'all stay tuned for that. I'll see y'all next clip. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that like button, and hit the bell so you know when I drop more videos, man. Alright, y'all, so we're finna get right into the video, man. I got a, uh, compact, oh, man. I got a compact Baby Desert Eagle, okay? Just hold on, give me one second. One second. This is tobacco, I am not promoting drugs. Okay, though. Yeah, man, I, had, I need that. I got my shit hanging up on that. But, yeah, uh, like I said, I'm not going to tell you what magazines I got in the gun, but here you go, though. This right here is my new, it's my new baby. Try to let y'all get a good little glimpse of it. I'm also swap the camera around so y'all can see it better, man. You know how I do. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all see it. See it like this real quick. Go ahead and see the barrel of this bed. For all you goddamn extra people out there, the gun already got safety check before the video all right i know my firearms i keep my shit clean okay but yeah this the firearm man they got a uh what you call it the decocker and everything you feel me keep that bitch a single action or you can keep it decock for a sec my god i got my face in half of this video they got the decocker so you can put that shit in double action but it's gonna lock back a single action once you shoot it but also if you leave that shit decock it's a safety mechanism so It'll keep a bullet from firing out the gun with the uh, decocker down. Okay, but this right here, this is a 17 round magazine, okay? It came with a 10 round magazine. I'm sorry again for not having the 10 round magazine in this video, but hey, it what it is. I'll see it next time. But it came with a 10 round magazine. This right here is the 7 round magazine. Not the 7 round, the 17 round magazine. I'm not gonna tell y'all what mag that is. The 10 round magazine sit pretty flush. Now the good part about this gun, I got a 15 round mag. If you do your research, I'm pretty sure you're gonna figure it out. But hey, this bitch flush. Pretty much. This bitch barely poke. You feel me? For five extra rounds to have a poke like that, it is worth it. I, I can carry this way more than I can carry that one. Even like without it printing or anything. So honestly, most of the time, I'm rocking out with the 15. You feel me? I barely got the 10 in. Majority of the time, it's just the 15 or the 17, but... Other than that, it's a pretty good firearm. Hold on real quick. Hey, Ray, come get this. Hey, again, not promoting drugs. I'm not cutting this out. Now that I'm keeping all this shit out of here, bro. Yeah. If you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. I don't care. I'm not living for you. I got to live every day being me, man. If you don't like the shit I'm showing in my videos, I'm pretty sure you can find somebody else who you would like watching, my nigga. Get your panties in a bunch, all right? So now we're gonna show y'all the trigger pull on the gun, okay? Cause they got a real good trigger pull on this name, man. Way better than my XD. All right, so as you can see, once you rack the slide, this is where the trigger locks back at, and then the hammer is decocked now. Well, it's not decocked, the hammer is cocked now, okay? 
So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you how to decop first, okay? So, you feel me? You just flick it down. Switch it down, whole thing, decop, whole gun deactivated. All right, as soon as you flick it back up, it give you the, the single action. Well, it give you the double action lock, pretty much, you feel me? And all that, but you get what I'm saying, okay? Other than that, bro, the trigger reset on the gun. I'm trying to show y'all real quick. This is the trigger pull. Very, very light. Extremely light. And then the trigger reset. Right there. Like the trigger, like you barely lifting your finger up, man. So if you're in altercation, man, this should get you out of the altercation fast if needed. If needed. All right, so pretty much, it ain't really no much to it. I still got to take this thing to the range and all that, but I'm going to go ahead and flip it around so I can get a good look at the sights and stuff, man. Oh, yeah, and this is a 9mm, okay? This is a 9mm. You can get it made in different calibers, because as you can see, the same 9mm right here, and then uh, I got the 40 stunt right there. I can switch the barrel and shit to make this thing a 40. My bad, y'all. Talking with the guard my mouth, but I can switch this thing right here and I can make it a 40 rounder, okay? As you can see, I got real high back sights, and then the top sight in the front is, is pretty low. So it makes the gun shoot high, but if you level out the gun with them two sights in the back, I mean, it's going to shoot perfect. I mean, and then your follow-up shots is all that shit, bro. It's going to be good after that. I shot the gun once, but I don't got no footage of shooting it, and you know, but the gun shoot very soft, shoot way better than the XD. Trigger pull way different, feel way better. It's just a great firearm overall, pretty much, man. My bad for showing y'all all this, but who really cares? Who really cares? All right, but pretty much this is the firearm itself, though, man. Try to get y'all a quick little all-around view, man. You feel me? I try to put y'all against the photo mode as much as I can on here, bro. And as you can see, it's stunt right there, man. Desert Eagle pistol, all right? This is known as the Baby Eagle. This gun was made in Israel, you feel me? This is formerly known as the Jericho 945, something like that. You feel me? But the gun got remade multiple times, and it's only a couple of these made. I actually only seen a couple of these models that I got posted on YouTube, so I decided to go ahead and make another video. So another one could be out there just in case y'all got this exact one. But if you do got this exact one, it's only a couple of these ones made that got this stump right here. It's not, it's not too many in the world, and they don't make this gun anymore either. Sorry, I got this in my mouth again. But they don't make this gun anymore either, man. It's, it's, you feel me? It's a lot of remakes and it's a lot of different type of models. They say it's the clone of the CZ and shit, but hey, it's good in its own way. You feel me? Hey, and I'm going to just leave it at that pretty much, dog. Cause if you know, you know. Other than that, it's the firearm, man. And it's the 15-round mag for it. That's the 17. Like I said, it come with a 10-rounder. Uh... It ain't really much to say on this thing, man. I don't got no shooting videos to it yet. I also got a 32 round mag to it. That's going to be a separate review of its own also. So, if y'all like this firearm and if you got one yourself, man, and you see all this stuff suitable, and if you learn anything in this video, hit that like button. Hit the uh, hit the bell, man. I mean, leave a comment down below. And shit, I guess I'll see y'all next video, man. Let's take a trip down the road, go far as it go, and let me show you. Baby, just love me, oh. Let's take a trip down the road, go far as it go, and let me show you.